just lost our win. Got it. <laughs> I'm Elena, and this is Riley, and this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last five years and have recently found ourselves with a stowaway. Meet Lenny. Subscribe and welcome aboard. And I was lost until you changed me, but I'm still breaking myself. We had the best sail from Block Island to Newport last week. As you know, we're cruising around the east coast of the states, crossing off a few more places on the list. Newport has been treating us well so far. Recently, we met a dock master of a pretty wicked marina and he managed to snag us a spot for the week. So while the Vagabond is tied up here on Goat Island, we have a few boat jobs to take care of as well as getting lost in the history of this place. You never know until you've seen it on fire. Bit of a special morning. Riley's, <laughs> Riley's gonna take Lenny for a walk in the pram while I get to go to the sauna. I haven't been to a sauna for so long and Sean's gonna sneak me in. <laughs> so I'm gonna make the most of it. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, we are very, very lucky. Just got Lenny to finish. What are we doing? Uh, there's a baton that's snapped. Um, it's either snapped or unscrewed, probably snapped. So I need to unscrew some things, pull it out, and then figure out how to repair it. Don't know what's going on. Not really. So we just took the baton out of here. We just took the baton out and then this seems like the broken part. Unless that was... So maybe it's just slipped out, hey? Maybe maybe it was sitting in there because it looked like there was it was sort of snapped or something. But maybe if I just hold this up, can you hold that other end? Keep jiggling. Nah, that's it. That's it. That's the. Uh... Nah. Well, it's not sitting in there. So there's a cup that it sits inside here. Um, I think the baton is probably a. F well, it is a little bit too short because when I screw in at the other end, um, I've got to go quite a long way in to put a little bit of pressure on that. But at least I know that it's not snapped there it's actually sitting inside there's just the recess isn't that large so this bends quite a bit but it's not broken it looked like it yeah it looks probably how it did ever since i first got it i'm just inventing problems <laughs> but at least we know now this part of the sail here slides in and out and that also screws up and unscrews. And I mean, I'm, I've just taken a photo, I'm gonna ask a few questions to Machu and the sail manufacturer. I'm actually pretty sure that it's all okay. Well, that, that one's clearly different to those other ones, but that'll be to do with that triangle system at the top that props the um, top of the sail up. Mm. I think it's fine, but I'll ask a question. Unease of my manifested we're on the eyes blank, empty. It's no one home. Good boys. Good boys. Good boys. Very good. Yeah. Good. It's been a little while since we uh, put him in the water. I think we're in the Bahamas, we're doing it sort of almost every day. <laughs> So 
Sean's friend's got some tuna from out there. From when you got the hookups in Newport. Fresh ahi. Oh, Thanks, yeah. mate. Legend. Wow, yeah, thank man. you. This is Sean from uh, Gurney's. Legend. <laughs> People will pay big bucks for this at the restaurant. That's enough of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this way. Oh, baby standing. Don't you fall flat on your face. Jeez. Oh my goodness. You're so clever. <laughs> so we've got some leftover tuna and Elena was trying to feed the fish which was fine because she was just dropping it down and then the birds and I'll try to recreate Elena's throw. <laughs> Lenny, don't watch your mum. <laughs> what on earth is going on in here? It's really me. hard to get it straight, eh? You, you're supposed to wet it. Show me. That one's so short. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, no. That's all right. I saw a really cheap barber store down the road. day outside and the thought of warming up with a nice little walk seemed like a good idea. Newport rose to fame as a wealthy port after a second wave of Portuguese Jews settled there around the middle of the 18th century. They had been practicing Judaism in secret for 300 years in Portugal and they were attracted to Rhode Island because of the freedom of worship there. They brought with them commercial experience and connections, capital and a spirit of enterprise. One of the men introduced the manufacture of sperm whale oil, which became one of Newport's leading industries and made the town quite rich. Newport developed 17 oil and candle factories and enjoyed pretty much a monopoly of this trade until the American Revolution. Beginning in the mid 19th century, wealthy southern planters seeking to escape the heat began to build summer cottages on Bellevue Avenue, this street of absurdly large houses. Around the middle of the century, wealthy Yankees also began constructing larger mansions. Most of these early families made a substantial part of their fortunes in the old China trade. Papa told me true, one day this will all belong to you. Mother's proud of me, I'll run the company. Met this girl at school, her friends are really cool. She Opened their heart to me. It must be nice to be. Ooh. How'd you go? Well, I'm a bit wonky. Really? Did they give you something? Well, just a local thing, but they removed a significant chunk of. Oh, really? How big? It wasn't huge, but that's like yay long. Oh, you being a good boy, mate. No, he's great. It's wonderful. It's like you got you found another baby sitter. Yes. Oh, I'd be happy to. Yes, I. I love your channel. Thank you. You being naughty. <laughs> 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 Lenny boy is asleep in Perth. 
perfect time because we're motoring out of this little tiny bit and then we need to hoist the sails ASAP because we're not supposed to be using the engines right now because the seals are broken. I should point out like we're being super cautious. 90% of people A wouldn't notice and B wouldn't care. Who knows how long we could go like this for but we just don't want to make the problem any worse. Do you hear that? The water leaking into the oil problem we've been having recently is just a common problem with sail drives. The seals are leaking. We thought we could hold off until we got down to Charleston by sailing 99% of the time as we tend to do, but decided to just pull her out of the water and be done with it. Because Newport is such a popular port, even after well over 50 phone calls, not a single boatyard could have us for a haul out. We'd have to sail for the day to get to Fairhaven, a more commercial yard to the northeast, who were kind enough to squeeze us in after a large and apparently convincing tale of woe, including, but not limited to, a child suffering severely from the sniffles, several giant squid, a misfiring flare followed by overnight incarceration on a naval destroyer, a mid-crossing collision with a powerboat, and a slightly menacingly appearing but ultimately friendly dugong. Look, we're moving. Who's this? Look who that is. It's Lenny. Into the rivers and snowy mountains, it's in the wild I live my last days out. And if it's all the same to you, oh, it's all the same to you. Hey, how are you? Hey mate, you're happy again. Uh oh, it's Lenny Cam. Look out, it's Lenny Cam. <laughs> yeah, growl at him, Len. But you better like this video, you're in trouble. We're back out on the water. This is where we're supposed to be. It was pretty awesome spending a bit of time in Newport, but when you get back on the water, you just... It, it is just so good. There's wind coming from here, which is where the land is. So there's almost no waves. We're hammering along on a beam reach, and this is just absolutely fantastic. Over the past few years, I've been experimenting with like how much time we can spend in each either country or port. It depends. It's so like, you know, the Bahamas, there's a million anchorages to see. Obviously, we were there for months and months and we still didn't see all the places. Yeah, Without I feel like doubt. we really saw Newport after a Met few Met some weeks. nice people. It was great. If you guys are sailors as well, or even like van life people, what's the perfect amount of time for you to spend in any one place? I'm interested to know because we can't really figure it out. <laughs> We just lost all wind, which was not expected. It was supposed to stay that windy all day, but we just hit a real dead patch. Ah, uh ah, -uh, you know, you're not allowed to go off the trampoline. I got your foot. <laughs> you can't go anywhere. Dead whale floating, um, floating the water, kind of waypoint position, didn't know if it's been reported yet. I was so interested in, there's a dead whale and it was floating upside down, someone was reporting it nearby here. And I was trying to get coordinates and I was listening to all the details and I forgot about the food. You burnt my lunch. It's really smoky. <clears throat> Out for buoys, 
we're gonna get there at night time. We have to go under one bridge and we just messaged the guy from the boatyard and he said the bridge is open. We're about 3.7 nautical miles away. We're going 7.3 knots. For the last bit of free time I'm gonna get before Lenny wakes up. So I'm making the most of it. Do you like peanut butter? I love peanut butter. Just fresh out the door. Don't need crackers, nothing. Straight off the spoon. Well, come to got here. He keeps trying to put it in. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps trying to put his hands He's so in his excited. Mouth, yeah. And then he's like just smushes everything. And he got mashed potatoes. Yeah. Dun, and then he does that. You go feed. And then fend. Oh <laughs> no. Why did you push everything? Everything went dominoes. <laughs> <laughs> a sizable chunk babe so it's really weird they've mailed a little piece of me away <laughs> and, they're, and they're checking it for cancer again hopefully this one comes back proper negative yeah, I'm not mailing back. any more bits of me around the place it's weird slip <laughs> 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 